This is the newest colour 3D scanner from RuvoPoint. The Inspire is a portable and user-friendly 3D scanner with a compact form factor that is designed for capturing medium-sized objects. It's compatible with Windows or Mac and it also has built-in Wi-Fi for fast and stable scanning on iOS and Android mobile devices. The Inspire 3D scanner has a single frame accuracy of 0.2mm at 300mm and a scanning speed up to 18 frames per second in high speed mode. It has a single capture volume of 230 by 140 millimeters and a minimum scan volume of 50 by 50 by 50 millimeters. The device has a 9 axis internal measurement unit for stable scanning, which helps to eliminate faulty frames caused by shaking hands or rapid movement. And making it portable and compact, it weighs in at 140 grams. Taking a closer look at the scanner, at the front it has dual cameras with infrared and LEDs used to capture 3D data and colour. On the back of the scanner there is a USB Type-C connector and a single mechanical button from where you can start or pause the 3D scan. For the setup, the mini tripod is screwed onto the bottom of the scanner, allowing objects to be scanned by using it with a turntable base or in handheld mode. Connection is easy with a single USB-C cable which plugs into the back of the scanner and this has a small thumb screw to securely hold it in place. At the back of the scanner we also have two indicator LEDs to show the connectivity and power status. To help with the scanning there are magic marker mats with reflective tracking dots. These remove the need to stick tracking dots all over an object and it helps with the tracking on flat and plain surfaces. To operate the scanner, free and easy to use RevoScan software is included. The software is used to capture, process, edit and export the 3D model data. The first scan is of a coffee cup and saucer. For this example we will use the scanner with the mini tripod and the turntable base and the round marker mat. Speaking of the turntable base, it has a USB connection for the power, with a dial to adjust the rotation speed and a switch to select clockwise or counterclockwise direction. The scanner and turntable are set up with the round marker mat and the cup and saucer are placed onto the turntable. Next the scanner is aligned and adjusted so the distance meter shows green bars. In the software the accuracy is set to standard and as we are using the marker mat with the reflective dots the tracking mode is set to marker. The colour scanning is turned on and the start button is pressed to begin the scanning. Once a full revolution of the object is captured, we can click on complete. Scan data is processed with a one click edit and this will process the raw data into a fuse model then into a mesh model. The one click edit removed the marker dots but the desk surface is still visible. This is easily removed by using the selection tool and highlighting the area and pressing delete. There are a few holes in the model and these can be improved by taking additional scans at another angle or we can use the fill hole repair tool. By pressing detect it will find the holes in the model. These can be selected and automatically filled. Once you're happy with the model it can be exported as a PLY, OBJ or STL for printing or to be opened in a 3D modeling or CAD software. For the next scan, a water tube part is prepared by using a powder spray. This helps dull the surface and improve the scan results. This preparation is especially useful on reflective or transparent objects. The part is placed directly on the turntable and the scanner's distance and angle is adjusted so the distance chart shows green bars. The tracking mode is changed to feature. This will track the object's features rather than the markers on the mat used in the previous example. The colour scanning is turned off and with the part and the scanner set up we can start the scan. One full revolution is completed and with the scan finished we can process the data with a one click edit. The one click edit works well but you can also edit each stage manually if you wish. The completed mesh model looks great with minimal tidying up required. Before exporting the model we can fill the holes with the fill hole repair tool and then export the file to be used with the CAD software. The next scan is of a bench vise and this is scanned in colour. 
The object is captured by using the 3D scanner handheld and manually turning the base the object is sitting on. One single scan is used to capture all sides of the bench vise using steady hand movements. With the raw data scanned, the model can be processed. Instead of using the one-click edit this time, we can work through the steps and manually process and adjust the settings. First we need to start with the point cloud fusion, then use the isolation tool to remove any unwanted noise. Next the base is removed by using the selection tool and pressing delete. With the model already starting to look a lot better, the model can be now processed into a mesh. We can use the mesh isolation tool to clean any further unneeded points around the model. Then by using the fill hole repair tool, we can select and fill any gaps in the model. With only one scan, there are a few minor details missing on the underside and on the handle as this is highly reflective. These areas can be improved by taking additional scans and by using the powder spray on the reflective handle. It's also good to see in the software we have options to step back at any point, all the way back to the raw data and reprocess with different settings if needed. The scanned data can now be exported as a PLY, OBJ or STL file and then be imported into CAD software or into a 3D modelling software. The lightweight compact design of the Revo Point Inspire is quick and easy to set up and works well with the included software. With options to capture in colour and use the scanner in handheld or tripod mode along with the magic marker tracking makes it easy to capture 3D data. The Inspire Colour 3D Scanner is a handy tool for your 3D modelling and design projects.